couple days, and one of the days we've been, I'd been out walking on the beach, and I came back to my room and took my notebook out, and this postcard fell out, and it was a postcard of Allen Ginsberg, and uh, I bet there's some Allen Ginsberg fans in the room. I mean, Eddie's place is not that far from here, so there's got to be some Allen Ginsberg fans in the room, right? <laughs> um, anyways, so this this postcard of Allen Ginsberg, this poet that I love so much, fell out um, on my bed. I was just sitting there, and uh, I wrote the song in a matter of moments. I think it was just a few minutes. And um, my favorite part of the story, though, is that about a year later when I went to record it, I was recording it at a little studio in Iowa City and um, just recorded my part and then I sent my track out to some friends um, to add to the song. And when I got done, um, I just I think it was like a one take recording and I decided I'd go get some lunch and I went out to my car and I flipped my sun visor down and a different postcard of Allen Ginsberg fell in my lap right after I recorded this song. And I didn't know it was there, so anyways, it was pretty awesome. So I think he might have picked up on it. <laughs> and um, my friends in this band called Calexico added to this song on the recording. I don't know if you all know them, but I'm a huge fan of them, and I've gotten to write some songs with those guys over the years. So they added their pretty parts. From, um, they were they added their parts live from a little um, theater in I'm trying to remember it was in the UK um, during a sound check they added their parts so that's what you hear on the record it's pretty cool. Mornings and your sweet smile had been said. 